going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Some Notes, baby. Hashtag Farm Some Notes. Today, we've got 29 PC mods in testing. We got nine console mods in testing. With all those, 22 mods were released today. Giants has a big live stream planned for this Friday. A2 Studio wants to see you in his live stream later today. Agritono talk about the update to their F350. Yagi's modding is already working on a four wheel drive version of his Massey. Solutions modding show off their new John Deere. JA modding has a couple new screenshots of his Massey Ferguson. 40 modding talk about their dually 20 foot trailer and what happened to their other trailer today. FS Modding has two mods going through testing right now. VSR Modding have a new slurry tank. Plus, MRG Mapping Simon Family Farms is almost ready. Let's check it out. It tests a 4 PC. We have the Allen BMI 14, Annenberger HTS 2203, Bell Chipper, Bell Fork Pack, Big Bell Storage Pack, Kestari C10,000L, Shamberg Valley, Decorative Objects Pack, ED125, Goma GG25, John Deere 6R Sound Pack, Kubota HTS 446, Landscape Company, Large Cow Pasture, Large Grain Storage, Lizard Framed 913 Chisel, MA Ag Pack, MTZ 1221, Old Building, One Axle Wood Trailer, Pack Tatra E6, Placeable Pillow, Road Rage Cabrio, Seasons Geo South Yorkshire, Tempo V8 Gully, Then Coloni, Vertical Tillage 335, Wash Place, and Wooden Shed. In Test A4 consoles, we have the 2 meter fence, Building with a Garage, Fortress ZT 300, John Deere 8110 8410, Lizard 6000, Lizard ULEP 3 Elm, Polish Potato Box, Reich 120, and Smallwood Trailer. With all that being said, we still have six mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is still one workday. In addition to the mods and testing, 22 new and updated mods were released today on the endgame mod up, including the Massey Ferguson 1X5 and the Case Magnum Pack. I've already made a video showing these off. You can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below. This Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time giant software will be streaming on the epic games twitch account to celebrate the game going on sale on that platform there will be four players involved total in the live stream chalky the community coordinator at giants myself clutch simulations and the Terminator Live, who's a Twitch streamer, a good friend of the channel. Join us live and stay tuned for in the inevitable craziness that will very likely take place. And then myself and Clutch Simulations will be hosting the Farm Sim Show after that with an incredible guest. You don't want to miss it. A2 Studio teases us today with the next update for the TLX 9000 Phoenix Semi Truck, the Dump Truck version, which will be a customization options when configuring your vehicle in the store. He says to stay tuned to his YouTube channel today Day, because if you are ready for this update, you will not want to miss his live stream. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel down in the description below. Drop by and tell him DJ sent you. It's been a few weeks since Agritono announced the next update for their F-350 Super Duty pickup truck to include a four-door version with other fixes and improvements. Well, they have said that there was a problem and they have lost all of the work that they had done on that update. So it may be some time before we see the update on the Mod Hub because they're going to have to go back and do all of that work again. The update will happen, so it will be happening. It's just going to be much later than originally planned. Stay tuned as I'll be updating you once more progress has been made. After the release of their Massey Ferguson 1X5 series, today Yankees modding are already hard at work on the four-wheel drive version. This mod is still in the modeling stage, as you can see, but it is looking great. I know that lots of you out there love two-wheel drive versions of tractors, but the four-wheel drive versions of smaller tractors can actually be extremely powerful for what they are, so I'm sure no matter what version you use, this mod's going to be a great one for you. Slusha's modding have new screenshots of their upcoming John Deere 6300-6404 for all platforms. This is an open cab tractor based on the Brazilian model. Not much else is known about this tractor at the time of recording, but we'll just have to wait and see once more information is released. JA Modding shows off their Massey Ferguson tractor today, this time with some new detail done to the engine bay, showing off the six-cylinder engine. There's still much more that needs to be done with this, and there's still a lot that we don't even know about. Like, what's it called? But <laughs> they're making great progress on this mod. 40 Modding says that the wear map is almost completed on their duly 20-foot trailer. This, once finished, will be going through testing and will make its way to the Mod Hub. 
It will be rebranded for consoles and PC players will be able to enjoy the duly 20 foot trailer version. As far as the Redlock trailer that released earlier today that should have been for all platforms, they have not yet made an announcement about that. I assume we should see something, maybe an announcement or maybe the mod here in the next few days. However, at the time of recording this video, it has been removed from the mod hub, so not even PC players are able to download it right now. And naturally, as I'm getting ready to <laughs> release this video, I have to pull it because 4D Mining have posted saying that the Redlock 180 12.0 trailer is currently right now in the console testing phase of testing. I still don't exactly know why this was removed from the mod hub, but I imagine it was something uh, to do with maybe uh, branding at a certain point, or maybe there's something that just wasn't quite right. So. What do we know right now? Well, this is currently in testing for console players. FS Modding have their Thunder 4x4 and their new trailer in-game and say that they are currently in the testing phase for both models, the internal testing phase. They have both been made for all platforms, so once this stage has been completed, they will be going off to testing for all platforms on the in-game mod hub. VSR Modding shows off a new mod that they have been quietly making in the background, the VSR Slurry Tank. This is a mod that has been made for all platforms and should be close to completion this week, hopefully off to testing with Giants as early as next week. It's going to cost you $25,000 and has a capacity between 60,000 and 70,000 liters. And lastly today, MRG Mapping has announced that he has done everything that he can with Simon Family Farms. It will be going off for internal testing with his beta testers, and once any issues are found and fixed, it will be released to his community. As far as I can tell, this map has been made for PC players only, so do keep that in mind. I will leave a link to MRG Mapping Facebook in the description for you guys to check out. And I always leave little silly outros at the end of these videos for you to check out too. Did you know that? Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, hey DJ, where's that thing? Well, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I'm still trying out some new things around. We even used this microphone right here for the mod video this morning and we've got people working on the house today it's just been insane thank you guys for bearing with me all being said i hope you have a great day we will see you later hey. So it turns out none of my G-O-O-G-L-E stuff works on my new Wi-Fi, so I have to use the this.